Hi everyone! Today I'm back with a pattern review for the Origami Pouch. I'm going to share with you some of the features and different ways that you can configure fabric for this pattern. I thought I'd wear the Mandarin Vest today and you can see it in a wonderful batik fabric. All right, on to the origami pouch. So this pattern is just a great um, little design that can be, um, it has little flaps that you can have pockets. So this has the outside pocket and then it has plenty of room inside for storage. It could be used as a purse. It can be used um, to store jewelry and for traveling. I'm just gonna do this because I'll show you how you could wear it if you were looking at it more as a purse. Um, so you can make it in quilting cottons. That's what most of the samples we have today are. And the fabric choice can be fat quarters, two fat quarters. You could use two contrasting, which we did in a, several of these samples. And you can see here, this is a Kaufman print. That's just a beautiful Japanese, um, design with some metallic and the, wow, look at, I think you can see the metallic on the inside. So you can see here where we had the flap for the pocket is the same as the print on the outside. And that, it works out that way with the pocket on the outside. Now I'm gonna show you another really fun print that is called Moon Rabbit. And this is from Paintbrush Studios. And on this version, you can see that the flap is contrasting fabric. One of the prints from the line, I'm gonna show open this up to show you this line. It is just darling. Um, and if you know the story of Moon Rabbit, um, this is reminiscent and inspired by that story. So on this one, you'll see there's no pocket on the outside. The pocket I'll show you here is on the inside um, of the little pouch. And I'm gonna pull the cord you can use you could make a cord of your own. You could um, use a braided cord. And then part of the fun is also finding, if you want to, some beads that can be strung on the cord. So in fact, check out this, this bag had this fun little painted bead, little painted wooden bead. Keep in mind, you don't have to have the beads. You could do what we did with this version that I'm gonna share. And this one is the um, version that's made with napkins. So I love the idea that you can recycle, upcycle, and you can go grab a couple napkin prints. I think I got these out like World Window. Um, and you're gonna need two of them, 18 to 20 inch square, and with a finished hem around the edge. And you can see, I just didn't, I didn't cinch this one so you could see how the design of a border might affect your pouch. And then if you open this, you can see um, another print. This was um, the actual part of the center of the napkin that you're seeing here. And again, on the lining, you can see how the pretty prints are showcased. It's, especially nicely in this design. Now on this one, we just used twill tape for our closure and we didn't, we just knotted it. So, you know, you can keep things simple that way and inexpensive, twill tape is so inexpensive. A great little finish. And now we can close it up into our origami pouch. So again, this is the pattern, what the pattern cover looks like. And you can find these at your local quilt or fabric store or ask for Indigo Junction's brand by name. They are also for sale on our website and we offer PDF versions as well as printed patterns. Thanks for watching this pattern review video today. I hope you'll subscribe to our YouTube channel and give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed learning about this pattern. Thanks for watching.